So far in 2023, many dividend investors are asking the question, why is the SCHD ETF not performing to our expectations, especially when the S&P 500 seems to have regained its place in the market? Historically, SCHD has delivered consistent returns in bull and bear markets, so its current sluggishness has taken many by surprise. Welcome to Invest Growth Wisdom, today we will explore the reasons behind the SCHD ETF's current standing, and explain why this might indeed be a golden buying window for investors, who aren't deterred by short-term setbacks. If you're invested in SCHD, or are thinking about it, you might want to stay tuned. Let's start with a quick refresher. The Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, ticker symbol SCHD, is a very popular ETF among the dividend investing community for its stellar dividend growth. The ETF has a diversified selection, with around 100 distinct stocks under its umbrella. Its objective? The fund's goal is to track as closely as possible, before fees and expenses, the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. In addition to that, a straightforward, low-cost fund offering potential tax efficiency. The fund can serve as part of the core or complement in a diversified portfolio tracks an index focused on the quality and sustainability of dividends, invests in stocks selected for fundamental strength relative to their peers, based on financial ratios. The low cost and tax benefits of SCHD make it a key part of a diverse portfolio. For investors who are looking for dividends and growth, the SCHD ETF has consistently emerged as a top choice. Just to shed light on its prowess, over the past 12 years or so, SCHD has surged by an impressive 183%. And this return doesn't even account for its dividend distributions. While the ETF's past performance looks solid, its current year's trajectory paints a slightly different picture. SCHD declined more than 7% so far in 2023, compared to the S&P 500's gain of 12%. That is a difference of 20%, which is quite significant. It is one of the worst underperformance SCHD has against the S&P 500. So, what's causing this slump? One plausible reason for this could lie in SCHD's current holdings. More specifically, its dominant top 10 holdings in the ETF. Let's not forget, SCHD mirrors an index made up of a diversified stock basket. A closer look reveals that most major holdings have disappointing performance in 2023. For instance, AbbVie, the second largest position in SCHD, has seen a 7.5% decline year-to-date. Home Depot, the third largest position, is down by 5.64%. Similarly, UPS, PepsiCo and Chevron have fallen by 10%, while Coca-Cola another prominent holding has decreased by 15.5%. A detailed stock-by-stock -stock analysis of SCHD, considering it houses around 100 distinct stocks, will quickly spotlight the reasons for its price dip. The performance of its top 10 holdings plays a significant role. By the way, if you're finding this analysis insightful, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button to invest growth wisdom. We're here to unravel the financial complexities so you can make informed decisions. Because of SCHD current performances, many people wonder if this ETF still holds the magic touch when it comes to delivering superior returns. And that concern is quite reasonable. With rising yields, sticky inflation, disarray of domestic governance and troublesome global geopolitical tensions, 2023 is not the perfect time for people to invest in the stock market. Yet, for if you look past these short-term disruptions, it hints at a potential rare buying opportunity. The companies in SCHD are not doing well so far this year, but these companies have been around for a long time. They have gone through many business cycles and chances are their management will adapt in such uncertain times and as such, those companies will continue to deliver solid earnings in the years to come. In such a scenarios, current sell of an SCHD presents a chance to grab some shares at a discount before they potentially revert back to their 70s high mark, as historical trends suggest. If you've been observing SCHD's performance over the past year, it hit a low of $67.90 last year. That means, as recently as last October, one could have snagged SCHD shares at a mere $67 and some change. Contrastingly, it peaked at $79, showcasing a significant swing for what's typically a stable ETF. Historically, SCHD has shown resilience, recovering from minor setbacks to establish new peaks. If you're an investor who envisions SCHD shares as a permanent fixture in a portfolio, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is seen as a foundational asset. This phase is an opportunity rather than a setback. 
While the future remains uncertain and ever-evolving, I think it is more likely the companies within SCHD will bounce back once the uncertainties settle over the next year or two. Additionally, SCHD has an impressive 3.7% 12-month dividend yield, coupled with a consistent dividend growth. To paint a clearer picture, SCHD's three-year growth stands at 11.44%, five-year at 13.69%, and 10-year at 11.11%. Investors understand that growing dividends are crucial. Over time, a stock or ETF with regular dividend growth can yield significant returns. SCHD has demonstrated this potential. Theoretically, in 10 years, its dividends could double or even triple. However, it's important to remember that past performance doesn't guarantee future outcomes. Since 2014, SCHD's quarterly dividend has soared from 25 cents per share to a remarkable 65 cents a decade later, showcasing its potential. While short-term fluctuations may concern some, younger investors typically see past these brief changes. The rationale is clear, steady dividend growth means increased cash flow each quarter, which can be funneled back into SCHD or diversified into other assets. Given its proven track record and a compelling 3.7% initial dividend yield, SCHD stands out as a top choice. Before we wrap up, I'd like to plot SCHD alongside the S&P 500 to compare their performance. When you put them side by side, the differences are evident. Initial observations spotlight SCHD's heftier cash flow, its starting dividend yield even doubling that of the S&P 500. But recent performance narrates a different tale, the past month saw both almost neck and neck. Year to date, SCHD has lagged, while the S&P 500 has surged. But zoom out, and you witness a shift. Over three years, SCHD surpasses the S&P 500 in performance, SCHD surges by 33.12% against the S&P 500's 29.45%. Extend this to five years, SCHD has an impressive growth of 67.4%, the S&P 500 edges ahead with 74.27%. This snapshot reinforces that, historically, SCHD has been a robust contender. And, hopefully, it might echo these feats in upcoming years. In summing up, considering its historical performance and future potential, SCHD seems poised as a unique opportunity for dividend growth investors. For those with a long-term vision, this might be the golden ticket. But I'm keen to know your thoughts. Are you still backing SCHD, or have you decided to pivot elsewhere? If this deep dive provided you with value, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Invest Growth Wisdom for more insightful content. Until next time, keep investing smartly.